For some time, the hunting of wild animals with dogs has been illegal. And yet it's continued across the UK. We've witnessed it every winter and every spring in the form of fox hunting. Because you see, they have been doing what they call trail hunting. Let me explain. They lay a trail of fox scent across the countryside, which the hounds are meant to follow. But strangely enough, when they come across the scent of a real fox, they deviate and they chase it and they kill it. And it's an accident. Well, most of us have seen this for what it is, a ruse, a ruse. But we've been proved wrong. It's not a ruse at all. Officially, it's a smokescreen. Yes, a smokescreen. That's what's been admitted at very high level within the hunting fraternity. And what's particularly upsetting is that during the course of this meeting, you see ex-police officers, people who know the law, know how to implement the law, advising fox hunters on how they can best break the law and get away with it. Because that's what's been happening for years. They've been getting away with it. And now we know how. Because it's being orchestrated from top to bottom. It's been exposed. They've been found out. This is possibly the most important tool in our armory to put an end to this insidious practice that we've had for a long time. Because they've been caught absolutely red handed. I've got to ask you, because it just won't sink into my mind, why at the beginning of the 21st century in the, the UK, one of the most advanced countries when it comes to care for its wildlife and conservation, we are still allowing packs of dogs to rampage across the countryside, tear fox to pieces just to pleasure people. How are we still entertaining this sort of abject savagery now when we know that our wildlife is in precipitous decline, that most of our habitats are declining too, that we are in an ecological emergency? It just doesn't compute. It doesn't work. Fox hunting has had its day and this evidence has to be another very big nail in its coffin. So please join me by picking up the hammer and driving it in hard. We must put an end to this vile hobby and anything you can do to help would be sincerely appreciated.